hello guys and welcome to my channel today in this video guys i am going to tell you how to install this speedy b bell heli 32 45 ampere esc onto your drone frame guys i am also going to tell you how to solder the wires correctly from the motors onto your esc and connect your esc onto the flight controller guys in addition to that guys i will also be installing the power wires and the capacitors onto this esc guys so ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start with the soldering and installation of this esc let me walk you through on how i'm going to install this esc guys as you can see guys on this drone frame we have already installed the motors and already assembled this frame guys if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out as you know guys whenever you install the motor guys this is the front side of the drone this is the back side of the drone guys so back side left motor is motor one then two and then back side right motor is going to be three and this is going to be motor number four so that is how we know which are the motors installed at which place and this has to match with the numbering that you have on the esc so guys as you can see on the esc guys it is clearly marked as motor number four three one and two so in this sequence guys you have to install the motors so that is why it is marked here and then you can see on to the power pads you have minus and plus and the holes for installing the capacitor so you need to install the capacitor here also guys you can see on the capacitor this is 470 microfarad capacitor that came along with this stack guys so this strip wherever you see is the negative strip guys so the pin that is coming out of this capacitor is the negative terminal guys and the other one is positive so and also guys as you can notice here that the negative terminal is shorter than the positive terminal so that is also how you know which is positive and negative so whenever you install the capacitor on this ESC guys so the negative terminal will go to negative and positive is going to go on to the positive so that is how guys I'm going to install the capacitor onto this ESC apart from this guys it also came along with this XT60 battery connector wire guys so here you have the red wire and the black wire red will go on to positive and the black to negative so that is how we are going to install let's quickly start with the installation so guys as i have planned to put this face onto the bottom side of the drone or facing the base plate of the drone frame guys so my capacitor will be on to the top and the wires that i'm going to install is going on from the bottom side of the plate guys so that is how i'm going to install let's quickly do that so first thing first let's install the capacitor so let's keep it like this so ensure that guys the polarity matches so let's double check as you can see guys this one is negative and positive so my this side is going to be negative and this side is going to be positive so that is how i'm going to install the capacitor so like i told you guys this one is negative so going on to this side like this let's insert it into the hole so that it stays so that is how my capacitor is going to be installed guys let's quickly solder it on the back side so we'll put it like this and quickly put the solder As you can see guys I have now quickly soldered the capacitor so let me chip off the extra wire that is coming out of it so let's do that as well so I will cut it like this and like this so now let's quickly solder the wire as well so the positive will go to positive and negative to negative so like this so that is how I'm going to install it. So let's put some solder like this. So first let me put a lot of solder here guys so that whenever I put in the wire it stays at its place. So let me do that quickly guys. So this is it. Let me quickly put in the wire. So 
so from this side and the negative terminal as well similarly so that at least it holds and then we will fill it with the solder so as you can see guys my wires are now connected so that is how you connect your positive and negative terminal and the capacitor onto your ESC guys so this is how it looks like guys from the sides and to the top so my soldering is complete so guys since my power wires and the capacitors are now connected now it's time to connect the motor wire guys but before we do that here you can see we have the motor pads let's quickly tin them so that whenever we install the wires they get it absorbed quickly let's put solder on each of the pads Be careful guys so as to not to short circuit the pads and they do not touch each other guys so that your motor functions correctly. So that is what we are trying to do here. Let's quickly solder all the pads like this and then So three pads are now soldered. Let's solder other three. So as you can see guys, I have properly tinned the pads for soldering the motors. Now let's quickly solder the motors. So guys, now let's quickly solder the wires of the motor guys. As you know, this is my front side guys. So this is my motor number four and on the pad guys, it is marked here as motor number four. So let's quickly solder from four, three, one and two like this, four, three, and then it is going to be one and this is going to be two so that is how we are going to solder so let's quickly solder the wires of the respective motors guys so these are the motor wires for motor number four let's quickly solder it like this onto these pads as you know guys sequence doesn't matter so we can always change the direction from the software guys so i will solder as in when it is available so like this so that is how i'm going to solder it And the third one. Ensure that guys you use the tweezer while soldering otherwise you will burn your hand or you will not be able to solder it properly. So here you can see guys I have soldered all three wires of motor number four. Let me do that quickly for motor number three, two and one and let me come back. So guys, here you can see I have soldered all four motors onto this ESC. Here is your motor number one onto the back side. Here is the wire going onto the pad number one. This is motor number two, the wire going onto the pad number two. This is your motor number four guys. So the wire is coming from here and going here onto pad number four. And this is ultimately your motor number three. The wire is going from back and it is here on motor number three three guys on the ESC it looks messy guys because this is upside down whenever I rotate like this guys this is all going to be on to the back and my ESC is going to be put in like this guys so that is how I'm going to install it guys and the power wire guys onto the back is going to go from behind this guys so like the motor wires are going on to the bottom guys this ESC wire is also going to go on to the bottom guys so that is how I'm going to install it guys so let me put it here onto the stack and show you the final result so as to give you guys an idea how to do the wire management 
so guys as you can see here now i have successfully installed the esc here you can see both the wires coming here onto the top and going on to the sides guys the same way here those wires going from the bottom and here onto the esc guys and here is the two power cable going on to the top guys so that is where you are going to connect the batteries and onto the back side guys here you can see i have put the capacitor out so that it does not interfere with any other equipment that i'm going to install inside and here onto the back side here you have the free space so that you have an air passing on to esc so that it is cool and guys here you can see i have put in the jumper connection here guys the jumper jst so as to be able to connect your esc on to your flight controller and this is the jumper wire guys coming out so whenever you have your flight controller guys installed all you need to do is to connect this jst on to this side guys and then your esc and your flight controllers are connected directly via this jumper connection you don't have to do an extra soldering guys so that is how we are going to install and then this is going to be stacked like this on top of this esc guys so so guys this concludes the tutorial on how to connect the esc onto your drone frame this is pdb bell heli 32 45 ampere esc that i am using guys so i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies